Hello everyone, my name is Paul Richards and today I'm going to show you how to uh, customize our PTZ Optics open source camera control software. Um, one of the really cool things about this software is that you can actually have uh, pictures go with your presets, uh, which is really cool. And um, I want to show everyone how you can customize this for yourself or for one of your clients and make it a really easy, uh, almost a touch panel if you had an iPad or uh, an iPhone. It's really, really powerful software. And uh, the first thing you need to do is obviously download the camera control software, uh, which is free on our website. I already have a video on how to do that and how to locate your camera on the network. So today I'm just going to focus on how to actually customize this. So as you can see, I've got uh, six presets with icons and then three that are just kind of customizable. And uh, what you want to do is, um, you know, if you, you have the ability to change all of these icons and you have the ability to change obviously where they go. So my main uh, preset is got these two pictures here and then my main zoom preset zooms into the feathers here Got kind of a feather theme going on. Uh, my microphone, which I don't have in my my living room here, is these feathers, and then my micro my microphone zoom is actually zoomed in of that. So you can imagine just customizing this to any interface possible, and I've come up with a really easy way to do that. So this is our camera control um, open source control software here. And uh, you can see it has, if you're a programmer, this is, makes a lot of sense to you. The index file, that's the file that, that we're seeing over here. So that, that is this file over here. Um, and then uh, the JavaScript, the CSS, if you're a programmer, you know what that is. But if you're not a programmer, don't worry. I've made this really, really easy. So uh, what we've done here is we have, there's an images folder. And in the images folder, there's presets. So one through six are your images. So if you don't want uh, main, the main uh, camera uh, preset one to be a picture, a picture of a folding chair, and you want it to be a picture of a podium, for example, um, what you would do is you would find your picture, and I'm just going to find a picture of a podium here for this one example. So podium icon. And of course, here's one right here. Um, so I will save it. And I'm gonna open it in Photoshop. And we're gonna have the Photoshop um, file available as well. So this will be really, really easy for you guys. Because uh, you, you do wanna make sure that you maintain the correct image size. Um, so I'm just gonna scale down, it's kind of a small image. This is the Photoshop file that you'll find in that folder. Um, let's just take a little bit here. Scale everything down. There's probably an easier way to scale this, but I'm just going to quickly scale it down to where we need. It's a big file. Here we go. Getting close here. Okay. Here is my podium. Still too big, a little smaller. Okay, there's my podium. So um, basically, uh, what we want to do is create our icon. And uh, let's say it's our podium there. I'm just going to change the color of it just a hair um, to that color. And then there's a text thing down here you can just type in podium. All right, so all we have to do is save it as a PNG file number one. So saves number one. And now we go back to our software and literally without doing any programming, all we did was replace that image. Now we have um, that image as podium one. So we're going to go to podium. It goes to that podium. Now this is the preset I have there. There's my zoom in to my podium. So if you're going to change uh, preset one, you might as well change preset and all we have to do is display a zoomed in version of this so I'll just do that and uh, this probably will actually be in the release because podiums are quite popular for our customers and then we'll just change this to podium zoom 
And I'm going to save this as a preset template file. So I've that available. And save it as preset four. Now, when I go back to refresh, now I've got my Podium 1 and I've got my Podium 2. So that's how that works. So uh, this allows you to create really nice custom um, camera control um, applications. And uh, these can easily actually be turned into Android apps and different things. But all the basics are done for you here. This is where you can assign your presets, which I've already done. and then. Very in the very beginning, you do want to find your IP address and add that in there. So that's how it works. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day.